City of Guelph Pike Band. And I also thought of the City of Guelph Pike Band under Ed when they won the C and E contest uh, in Toronto. How about the North American Academy of Piping and Sandy Jones? For the old timers here, how about Mac's schoolhouse, Mac Campbell and his farm? Long time ago, where they took lessons from John McFadden during the summer. The Pike Band people will remember the cork tuning meter. At that time, we all tuned by ear, but not the Guelph Pike Band. Uh, both Jeff and Ed introduced the chord. We used to call Jeff. Jeff, if you recall, you did all the tuning, we called you the meter maid. So, <laughs> well earned title. How about in the construction of medleys? The one thing that sticks with me is how the Guelph Pike Band didn't go from one tune to the next. They did chords between the tunes. You guys. So which is sort of the idea of bridges that we try to be creative with right now. Personally, a couple of five hour trips back from meetings in the States where we talk nothing but paper and it's so minute as the benefits of playing a variation up or down. Ed could expound for five hours, believe you me. <laughs> and finally, when you called Ed's house, there was Margaret's familiar refrain 
He's not available, Ken. He's playing his pipes.